Hello guys, we're about one here, and today I am going to be doing my ban list prediction for the July or March format. Well, not March, sorry, August format. Because right now we're in, right now we're in July, and in July is usually when Konami like to release a ban list, but they're being funny with their ban lists, so they could release it in August instead. So this is my predictions for the or the July slash August ban list. So starting off with ban cards, I don't think any cards are going to be banned. Banned. Like there's nothing I could see needing to be banned, and I don't think they will actually ban anything. Okay, now there are quite a few things that I think will get limited to this format. So let's start getting into them with the first card, which is. Magi Spectre Unicorn Kirin. Now, why do I think Magi Spectre Unicorn Kirin is going to get limited? Because it's the most one of the most broken pendulum cards there actually is. This card can be the decider between a win or a loss. Because the other day I was at my locals last Sunday and I was in top eight. Um, I bricked, I pretty much bricked, and because I was able to summon Kirin. Um, I just won the duel from there because I was able to just keep normal summoning a pendulum monster returning it to hand, normal summoning return to hand, normal summoning return to hand, and just be able to beat him down for game. And it's just Kieran is one of the most broken pendulum cards that actually is in the game, so I could see this card getting limited very easily. Um, there's nothing really, uh, there's no really ever pendulum cards that I think really need to get hit right now. Monkey boards at one making that balanced. Uh, Joker's at one being a Stratos limiting in it. That is pre-balanced. And I don't really see anything else that needs to get limited other than Magi Spectre Unicorn. So Magi Spectre Unicorn is a card that I really do think will be limited on this list. Just because of how much of a powerhouse it can be and how broken it can actually be. Okay, so the next card we're going to be talking about is a Cosmo card, and it is Cosmo Dark Destroyer. Now, I believe Cosmo Dark Destroyer will be limited as well, because it's a card that enables OTKs in the deck. It's a very stupid card, because if you, it's a very easy to search card in the deck. It's a 3k beat stick, it's non-targetable, it can switch itself out, and it's just something really big that's really hard to get over. Also, the fact that you can OTK in a deck like Cosmos, with the, just because of you have this card, is not very stupid. Which I find that if this card is limited, it will balance out the deck a bit more. And I could really see this card getting limited for that fact. And also, Cosmos have been around for quite a long time, so seeing this card get limited wouldn't really surprise me at all. So, with the next card is a, another Cosmo card. It's... Cosmo Tin Can. Now, Cosmo Tin Can is a card that I'm a little spectacle on getting limited, but I can see it getting limited. Because this card can, during either player's end phase essentially, search any, um, reveal free Cosmo cards and you'll basically send them to the graveyard. You, you, your opponent picks one at random, you send one of them to the graveyard, the, you send the other two to the graveyard, the other one gets added to hand. And I feel like this being able to be used in either player's end phase is a really good effect. And I really think if this card also got hit in the Cosmo deck, it would slow it down. Plus, because the Cosmo deck likes to use Call of the Haunted so much, um, and uh, Oasis of Dragon Souls, this card really does help the deck in a way that makes it very much a broken card. So I can see this card getting limited if that happened, um, if they decided to do that. So, uh, the next card is a card that I think will come off the ban list. It's an obvious card to me, and it's Elemental Hero Stratos. Um, Elemental Hero Stratos is basically a card that I think needs to come off the ban list to make heroes a decent deck again. Um, because currently they haven't been used in much formats. They, they You still see them here and there, but they're not in a f way that they can actually be one of the best decks in the format. 
And I would really like to see a format where we could get this deck, these decks, to be what, some of the best decks in the format again. Because Heroes was the, is still my favourite deck altogether. Um, I still want them to unlimit Stratos no matter what. And seeing as most decks actually have a Stratos right now, it's not really fair that Heroes lose their Stratos. Just because other decks have it and they could army don't want to give us it back. So I want this to get unlimited to get limited to one because obviously it's not worthy of being on the ban list. Okay, so the next card we're talking about is a card that a card from a deck that's been around for over a year now, or over two years I think, and that is Dante Traveler of the Burning Abyss. <clears throat> now, why do I think this card will get limited? Is because it's basically it makes you be a, a tier one deck, and a deck that's been around for two years should have been hit more by now. Sure, they've got Graph at one and Seer at two, but that does nothing to the deck still, because they can still easily go through it with stuff like Tour Guide, um, Tour Guide, Foolish Burial, Skarmish can search any of them out, and it's like. This deck is a very stupid deck, and I think limiting Dante to 1 will be a very good thing, because it will stop the deck being so powerful, and it will still probably be played in some way. Um, also, limiting this to 1 will mean Beatrice won't be such a problem against most players. Sure, it will still be seen, because if BA is still played, then you can just do the Seer thing where you can revive the Dante and stuff, and just make another Beatrice, but... It will make the Beatrice not so powerful and not so busted. Okay, another the next card we're talking about is um, to be un, to be limited is Evil Swarm Exiton Knight. Now the reason I think Evil Swarm Exiton Knight should be unlimited is because it it may reward uh, it may reward players for doing nothing most of the time, but it's a necessary evil in the game. Because when you think about it, if your opponent has the this whole huge board that you can't win because of it's stupid as hell, then making Exiton can actually be really good for you. So Exiton Knight, sure you rewards you for doing nothing, but when you think about it, this card is a card that should be in the game because it's a necessary evil. Sure you're killing all of your own stuff with it, but with on the board but at least you'll be able to have at least you'll be able to have a chance of coming back because most of the decks like say extra monarchs now they can have like a board set up with still like six cards in hand sometimes which i find is pretty stupid so exiton knight to one as well um the next card that i think should be limited is uh the Monarchs Stormforth. Now, this card is a pretty obvious reason. Being able to just tribute your opponent's monster is stupid. Because, sure, the um, Soul Exchange, I think it was called, or something like that, um, was was tar it targeted. It targets that card does. Um, I believe it targets at least. And seeing something like this be a quick play spell card that can. Just be stupid as hell with Aether combos and all of that. And be able to tribute like a Dark Destroyer or a Kirin or something like this. Stormforth is a card that needs to be limited to make Monarchs more balanced. Because they are currently the best deck in the format. And I feel limiting Monarch Stormforth will actually slow them down a bit more. And still on the Monarch topic, the next card is Pantheism of the Monarchs. Now, the reason Pantheism of the Monarchs should be limited is because it's essentially a plus three in the deck. Because you get to draw two cards, you can banish itself... Well, you can draw two cards, name, and you'll be usually discarding a Prime for its effect, which does nothing, really, because you're just going to summon the Prime back. And... You also get to banish it to reveal any free monarchs that are trap cards. So you could reveal a free tenacity, get another pantheism, and just be like, oh, I'm going to play Yu-Gi-Oh. So just being this strong a draw power card in the deck, limiting it to one will also balance out the deck from being the best deck and maybe put it on a level of the same other decks. So I find Pantheism should go to one as well. And now the last card that I think should be limited is Heavy Storm back to one. Now, why Heavy Storm back to one? Well, with all these tri Demise decks around, um, Pendulum decks, um, uh, stuff like that, 
and stuff and decks and soon we're going to be getting more back row decks soon i think as well because of the yang zing support telenites are getting more support all of their decks are getting more support um i think heavy storm coming back to one would be a very fair thing because you destroy all your back row in the process as well but you're also destroying all your opponent's back row so heavy storm is another necessary evil that I think would be good and maybe cut down all of the demise decks quite a bit. So I could see Heavy Storm coming back to one for those reasons. So next onto the semi limit cards. Um, the first card that I think will be semi limited is Wisdom Eye Magician. Now, why do I think Wisdom Eye Magician? Because it was wrong to hit it in the first place. Even without Wisdom, even with Wisdom Eye at one, Pendulum's. I mean, even if Wisdom Eye was at free, um, Performer Power Magicians would have done nothing, I believe. Sure, it would have been a decent deck, but you wouldn't they wouldn't synchronize too well. Because I built the deck myself, I took it to regionals, I believe I went um, to... I, um, no, I went to X3 with the deck, and... It's an okay, it's an okay concept to use, but it's not the best pendulum way. And seeing as this card was limited so harshly, I don't think it deserves to be limited. So I could really see this card coming back off the ban list. I mean, off the limited section and going to one, because it would bring magicians up a bit more, making them a bit more balanced again, and just bringing them to be a decent deck, somewhat again. So yeah. Um, the next card that I think is going to be put to two is Ritual Beast or the Uji Konohawk. Now, a lot of you are probably thinking, what? Ritual Beasts are stupid. Um, yes, I know they were stupid, but when you think about it, Ritual Beasts are a deck that is, shouldn't, it's a deck that's not that great, essentially. Um, it's got very good concepts to it. It's a it can banish search out very quickly it's got back row it can run macro cosmos and stuff but no other deck in the format can actually do that now um it's not it doesn't have heavy search no deck in the format has heavy searching like that and i find that a deck like this bring to corner hawk to two may bring it into the meta again but also make it a bet make us have more diversity in the meta and the only reason ritual beasts aren't used more often is because ulti corner hawk was put to one and if your opponent strikes or warnings that one ulti corner hawk you basically lose but even so ritual beast ulti corner hawk coming back to one I mean, coming back to two is a thing that I could actually see happen because it's a decent card. It's not that broken or busted, and I, it's just a really good idea to see it come back to one. Wait, not back to one. Sorry, come back to two. My mistake. But yeah, guys, I can see this card coming back to two very easily because Ritual Beasts is a good deck that I find that shouldn't be on the limited section just because it can spam trap cards. Like... Most Telenites did spam trap cards. They run like 20 traps. But yeah, guys. That's um that card's reasoning. Um the next card that I think will be limited, semi-limited, is Solemn Strike. Now, why do I think Solemn Strike will be semi-limited? Um, I feel like it will be semi-limited because it will go down the path of warning. Warning will, I believe, was put to two, then to one. And knowing, knowing a bro bro card bro as broken as Strike, seeing it go to 2 wouldn't be much of a surprise to me. And I could actually see this card going to 2 very easily. And also, the reason they could put it to 2 would be so most people don't run 3 of it anymore. And seeing as it's probably going to get a reprint soon, hitting it to 2 won't bring down the value too much. So, yeah. Um, now for a few cards that I think they'll get put to 2 from the limited section. Um, Bottomless Trap Hole, it's a card that's been on there for a long time, I believe this card could get put to do very easily, and it's an okay card that I really don't think needs to be at 1. Uh, Torrential Tribute, same thing, it's a staple card that isn't really used anymore, so I could really see this card coming to 2 as well. Um, same reasoning behind that. Compulsory Activation Device, I could see going to 2 as well, because Compulsory Activation Device is a card that isn't even used anymore. So I could see this card going to two very easily as well. Not much reasoning behind those three. Just that they're cards that have been at one for such a long time that it's easy to see them go to two without any problems. 
And now for the last card that I think will be unlimited is Thousand Eyes Restrict. Now this card was unlimited on the, I mean, semi put limited on the last list and it's done nothing. It's done nothing at all. It's not meta defining, it's not that great a card. Sure it was great in like GOAT format and stuff, but nowadays it's not that great a card. I could really easily see this going to free. And yeah guys, seeing, so, what do you think of my ban list predictions? Do you think these will happen? Do you think most of these will happen? Do you think any of these will happen at all? Do you like them? Do you hate them? Tell me everything you want to say in the comment section below. And as always, guys, please like, comment, and subscribe for more your videos. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.